I'm going to make a recording on this because it's going to be a pretty good video. Uh, since we're in this live stream, I'm going to hit the record button and I'll upload this later. But I'm going to go into my my DMs. You guys aren't going to be able to see. And I want to go over some things that somebody was asking me recently um, about trading. Because they were asking me, like, basically they're going through some issues with their trading. And they wanted to know what were some things that I could help them with and what were some things that made successful traders. All right, so the question I asked you guys is how many of you want to actually become a full-time trader and devote your life to this and really make this work? Um, so let's see, George says me, uh, Mr. Retired says he's retired, it makes sense. Online business says me, uh, George says I'm gonna trade as a profession, uh, Phoenix says the work, Eugene says me, uh, wouldn't mind two hours of trading a day. I'd love to have this as my day job, Zach says. So it seems like a lot of people are interested in this. Now, I trade like an hour a day, right? There are people who want to day trade all day. I am one of those people where like I want to put as not as little effort as possible, but like I'd rather focus on swing trading and stuff, right? Not full time, but happy to make a few hundred a day to supplement my income. All right, so two things. And this is something every trader has to truly ask themselves. And then we're going to go into what makes a successful trader. How bad do you really want to become a trader? That's your real question. Like, are you here because you fucking love this? I'm going to get demonetized, whatever. Like, are you here because you fucking love this? Or are you here because you want to have a better life for yourself and you don't really know how? Like you don't really know how to make a business. You don't know how to start a business. You don't know what else to do. So you're here just trying something, right? There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not the per like I will tell you and I tell you guys every day, 95% of people fail. If I have 100,000 people, right? 100,000 people, 95% are going to fail. Who would want to do it just to do it? I love this. So I do it just to do it. And this is my thing to give you guys some insight. I have insane ADHD and I am one of those people, some of you might be this way, where I get into something and I go hard, like I master it, I become so fucking good, I get like close to world class level at something and then I throw it away because I just get bored of it. Like once I've solved the puzzle, once I've solved the mystery of whatever it is, I throw it away. Like I wanted to get into hunting, so I bought a compound bow, I took lessons, I became a phenomenal shot, and then I threw it away, right? I wanted to get into guitar and play in a band, I got really good, I started a band and I threw it away, right? So I do this all the time, even video games, Magic the Gathering, fucking War, like whatever it is, dude, like I get into like some nerdy shit or whatever it is, I get heavy into it and then I just throw it away to the side, right? The stock market is the only thing that I have not thrown to the side and it's because it is a never ending puzzle that I will never fully be able to master and I understand that, right? Is that ADHD? Probably, I think it is, but like, it's a puzzle that I love and I love sitting down every single day and, and not having the answers there in front of me, right? Uh, is it really normal to blow up many accounts? Yes, it is. We'll talk about that. But the, the first thing I want to get into when we talk about um, becoming a professional trader is you have to know, do you really want to become a professional trader or are you just here because you want to invest and you don't really understand, um, you don't really understand how to make money doing anything else? Right. If this is the love of your life and this is really what you want to do, it's good. Uh, and that's important. Now, the thing to understand as well is that when they say 95% of traders fail, it's completely true. And you have to understand the odds are not with you. Okay. But that number is vastly skewed. It's very, very skewed. Because let's say we take 100 people. All it counts right now to become a quote trader is just to open a Robinhood account and put 20 bucks in. You're a trader. Congratulations. I'll shake your hand. You're now in the world of the markets and uh, you're officially a trader. Now, just because you're a trader doesn't mean do you really want this to be a part of your life, right? And, and this is, this is I'm going to read these off and I will actually post them um, in this Discord. I don't want to share who it was because I don't know if they want to be private or whatnot. But I said to them, great video idea. I will uh, put this right here in the chat. Oh, fuck. Never mind. I wanted to copy and paste it. It's not working. 
I wonder why it's not gonna let me copy and paste this. Said I typed a ticker. Let's try one more time. It's not gonna work. There's too there's too many. Um okay. So this is basically what I said to him. Um so he asked me what are some skills? Cause I can tell, like, dude, there is I've had so many students come through my way. And I, I know when a student is going to make it. I usually can tell. There are some people who have surprised me, but I normally know if someone's going to be able to make it or not. Right. Um, so basically they said, thanks for your insight. Uh, you said in one of your videos, 95% of traders fail and they don't become profitable. What do the 5% typically do to make them successful? And this was like right off the top of my head early this morning. I said, uh, great video. I'll do that. Uh, but these are the essential major things I can remember off the top of my head. Number one, they learn to handle their emotions and focus on consistency over profits. So you have to focus on consistency over making money. And to a lot of you guys, that that just might not make sense. Like, why the why the hell would you focus on cons like making money is the goal for most of you, right? Wrong. The goal is not to make money. And I'll tell you this myself. The goal is not to make money. And I know it sounds stupid. Let me see if I can just throw this on here. I can. There we go. I took a screenshot of it so you guys can see. So the goal is not to make money. It, it, it's really not. The goal is for you guys to just create systems to become a better trader. If you have a good system, you will make money. So number two is focus on creating and operating a system over making profits. So already the top two things I came off my head had nothing to do with making money. It's all about creating a system and consistency. Once your system works, in time you will make money, right? So I, I want you guys to think of it like this, okay? If you played a casino game and you knew for a fact that you're playing a slot machine and you know for a fact that the slot machine will make money 60% of the time, do you know that it will make money the next time you pull it? All right, I want you guys to respond to that. If you had a slot machine that you knew guaranteed made money 66% of the time, do you know if it will make money the next time you pull it? Sixty-six percent of the time the slot machine is makes you money. Do you know the next time you pull it if you will make money or not? The answer is no. You have no clue. Right. You could be wrong four times in a row. Right. Just because you can make money 66 percent of the time, you have no you have no clue. Right. You have no clue what's going to happen the next five times, the next 10 times, the next 20 times. Right. 66 percent of the time statistically means that out of a thousand pulls on that slot machine, 666 will be good and the other 444 will be bad right? You'd, you could have 20 losses in a row. And this is why position sizing is so important, you guys, because I get people who are like, oh, I'll follow your trades, Pete. They come into the academy and uh, I will we'll get back to you, Zach. I promise. I'm so you asked me a, a simple question and I'm just like going fucking off on this. Um, but they'll be like, oh, I'll, I'll follow your trades. I have two $2,000 and I'm going to put $1,000 in each trade in options. And then the two trades I call out don't work, right? <laughs> they don't work. They don't make money. Well, guess what? Like I, I don't make money on every single trade. And that's why position sizing is so freaking key because you can't bet the house on like three trades and then you're going to get blown out. Like I trade with $270,000 and I only put 10 grand in each trade. Because it's all about playing over the long term. But we'll, we'll make this pretty quick. Number three is using proper position sizing so you don't get blown out of the market. We just said that. Number four is using proper stop losses and risk management to stay in the game and not get blown out of the market. So already you can see that the, the biggest things in the top four is consistency over profit, systems over profit, and don't lose all your money. Number five, understand that just like any skill, you will not be good overnight. You cannot be a professional level basketball player in two years. It takes 10 years. And this is why I say to you guys, how bad do you want to do this? Right? How bad do you want to do it? If you really want to do it, you might spend three years making nothing. And no one's going to tell you that because they can't sell you courses and shit telling you that. I'll tell you that. I don't give a fuck. Right? If you really want to be a pro, you might spend three years making nothing. You might spend three years losing. 
That's what I did. I, I went from five grand to 50 grand, blew that account up, and then restarted, blew that account up. So I blew two accounts up. Um, Eugene asked me that. How many accounts? I blew two up. Every good trader I've ever known has blown accounts up. But what I, what happened was I looked around and I said to myself, like I had my friends like, oh my God, dude, you lost like $30,000 in the stock market. I'm like, dude, you have a liberal arts degree that you spent 40 grand on. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? I don't care. I just look at it as tuition. And so if you really want to take it seriously, you have to understand that it's not going to be easy. It's not going to come with, you know, not blowing a couple accounts up. Number six, continue to grow your education and backtest your new strategies. Number seven, find a support group or a community that is actually legit. A lot of them aren't. Number eight, seek out mentoring from someone who is legit and aligns with your trading style. We all trade differently. I'm not a day trader. If you want to learn to day trade, like I can't help you, bro. I can point you in the right direction. There's a lot of people who you know, uh, know how to day trade and like to day trade. I know how to day trade, but I, but like, I don't like it. I don't like sitting in front of the screen eight hours a day. I don't really care. You know what I mean? Um, and then number 10 or number nine journal, all of your trades and most importantly, journal your emotions because your emotions become your actions and your actions are what's going to blow your account up. Right? So those are the most important things. Um, and, what would be the best way for you to grow a thousand dollar account? All right, let, let's talk about this aspect now, um, because you have to start somewhere. All right, and this is let's 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 look at it for two people. Let's make two. Let's make let's make two lines here in the sand. All right, let's say you're the person, and we're gonna start with this because this is the most most honest honest answer here. If you're somebody who doesn't really want to do this for a living right? If you're really somebody who wants to do it or not do it for a living, you don't really care. You're like, you know what? Like, I really, I like this a bit, but like, I really don't care too much about becoming a professional trader. I just want to make money on the side. And you have $1,000, $2,000, right? Let's say three grand or less. <laughs> Fuck trading, right? Screw trading. What I want you guys to understand is that this is very controversial because mo like I'm a trading channel and I'm going to tell you not to trade. Uh, if you, you're not going to make serious money with like two, $3,000. You're not what two or $3,000 is going to do is pave the way for you to gain experience to further what you want to do in the future. Right? So if you have like two grand, I make like a 44% to like a 50% return per year. So that means you follow me for a whole year, like you'll make 400 bucks. And then after the government fucks you for taxes, you'll make like 240, right? Because it's not really worth it. <laughs> like, like, you know what I mean? So let's say that you're somebody who wants to seriously trade. Well, you're not going to turn one or $2,000 into like, you know, 50 grand. But what you can do, and this is not to discourage you, what you can do is take that thousand dollars and treat it like a million dollars. Okay. Take that thousand and put it in, and treat it like it's a million dollars. And I hate the word trader. The name of this channel is traders helping traders, but I like the word portfolio manager, that term, because that's what you are. I want you to think of the fact that you are a portfolio manager for a hedge fund company. And I want you to treat that money like it's someone else's money. All right. And put that thousand dollars into an account and learn, learn how to trade. And this is why going back to poor Zach that I've just never fully answered your question. Right. When you said, what should I do with two grand? If you really want to become a good trader, put that money in the market and just don't expect to make any money at all. Trade with shares trade small, like 500 bucks per position, use hard stop losses and gain knowledge. And all while you're doing this, continue to put more and more money in week over week, month over month, right? I want to go to money chimp compound interest calculator. All right. This is one of my favorite things to do. So let's say that right now you have a thousand dollars and we're putting this in a Roth IRA so it's tax-free. And let's say that every single month 
you can put like 200, let's say every month you could put $500 a month in. Like you guys could all drive Uber Eats on the side one day a week on a Saturday and your car will smell like pizza and shit, but whatever, you'll make another 500 bucks a month. So every month you put $500 in, which is going to be an extra $6,000 per month. You will max out that Roth IRA and we're going to give it just five years to grow. And let's say that after a couple years of being consistent, you can pull about 35% return in the market. In five years, you'll have $85,000, right? In 10 years, you'll have $462,000. In 20 years, you will have 10 million. And in 30 years, you will have 196 million, which is just nuts, right? So the goal is for you is like the $1,000 isn't going to do shit, right? It's using that money to learn and then continuing to put money in from a job outside of the market, right? That's something you have to understand. Now, if you've never traded and you have $2,000, right, or $1,000 or anything, to be quite honest, I wouldn't even use it to trade. I would take that money and I would invest it in yourself. And I'm not saying go buy fucking my course or someone's course or any of that shit. Like, use that money to invest in yourself. Go buy books. Like, dude, books changed my fucking life. Like, $100 worth of books has made me half a million dollars easy. Like, there's, like, Think and Grow Rich, The E-Myth. Those two books alone I probably made 200 grand off of in my life. Like, and you don't have to read 100 books. If, uh, uh, James Clear's um, Atomic Habits. What is another one? Like, Tim Ferriss' Tribe of Mentors is pretty decent. Like, I have, I have like, 100 books sitting behind me and downstairs. Books are nuts. Like, it's, it's such a good investment. If you want good trading books, How to Trade Like a Professional Trader by Alex Elder is absolutely insane. Read SEC filings, completely free. It's correct. There's so much free shit. We have a Discord full of free shit, right? Like, invest in yourself. Because, seriously, nobody can take your knowledge away from you. No woman can take half of it in a divorce. <laughs> some, some women might get pissed, but no women here can take half of it in a divorce. Your business partner can't screw you over for your knowledge. Like once you have it, unless you suffer a serious brain injury, which I don't wish that on anybody, nobody can take that from you. And here's the deal. If everything I've ever built blew the fuck up to zero, if I lost every penny that I have right now, I would build it back up even better, right? Even freaking better. Um, do you have a list of books? No, but I can make one like, um, atomic habits. I'm just doing it right now. Think and grow rich. Change my life. And I read this book every month and grow rich. Um, discipline. I'm going to spell it wrong. Whatever. Trader by Mark Douglas. That's a good trading book. Trade like a professional. Alex Elder. I'll do a whole video, but dude, there's enough to get you started. There's, there's so many books I've read and, uh, it, dude, it's, it's just absolutely insane that for $9, like nine bucks, E-Myth is another good one for $9 for a book. Like it's insane what you can do. But for me, like that's, that's what I, that's what I would do. If, um, let me go through some of these questions. You guys had some good one. Uh, do you use trading to generate capital for your investments? Once your balance of money this is this phenomenal lane. Uh, do you use trading uh, to generate capital for your properties and investments? What balance in money in the market versus out of the market in more secure assets? It was a great example. So um, yes, normally the money that I use within my accounts, I will fund real estate ventures. Like all the money that I've made off of like the academy, um, YouTube, all of that goes back into investing and investments because I want you guys to see what I'm doing with your money, right? So like, if you pay for the premium group, like I want you guys to see that the premium group currently right now, like I'll, I'll tell you, I don't give a shit revenue on the premium group right now is about 10 grand a month. So like I take that $10,000 and I reinvest it in the stock market. Um, once the housing market crashes, which I think will pretty soon, I will start buying properties and documenting the entire journey for you guys. Um, I just deployed like a hundred grand in long-term investments. A lot of that money was from the money that I make on here as well as because uh, I wanted to start a long-term portfolio. For the longest time, I didn't have a long-term portfolio. I sold like all my investment properties um, last year because they were ridiculously overvalued. I just bought a house this year. 
for like 240 grand. I put some work into it. It's already worth 350 grand. I just got it appraised. Um, right now I have, I have about 200 grand in a savings account. Um, and then the house that I currently have right now, and then I have about 270 grand in the market. So I can't teach you how to be a millionaire. I'm not quite a millionaire yet, but I can teach you how to make 500 grand in like three years. That's why I can teach you. And I'll never pretend to be something that I'm not. I'll never be like, this is how you make $5 million. Like I've never made $5 million. I have no clue. Uh, which indicators do you prefer for scalping? VWAP, 15 minute OBV, and usually just like a nine EMA is all you need. But the VWAP's like majorly going to be your goal. Um, trading indicators usually work. Talked about that. Um, not, not the next time, but the time, oh, we're, we're back up there. Hold on. Um, not taking stupid risks. How I learn charts. Very important. Um, you need 50 K to seriously trade. So you don't need 50 K to seriously trade, but the more money you have, the less risk you need. Right. Um, a lot of what I would do if you guys if I didn't sell courses and shit and like sell, sell my, uh, my trades, I would just be selling cash secured puts. It's, it's like one of my favorite things to do, but I would say like 10 grand is enough for you guys to like make some money off of. And like I said, the goal is not to make a ton of money, right? It's not like in the next couple of years, the goal is, this is my ultimate goal. Okay. My ultimate goal has always been $2.5 million in cash. Straight cash, not net worth, cash. With $2.5 million, I can sell cash secured puts and even in a shit market, make a 20% return, right? A 20% return on $2.5 million every single year is going to be, oh, that's 30 years and 25 Every single year, I'm going to make $3 million, and then the government's going to screw me for half of that. So that's like $1.5 million. How the fuck would I make $3 million? This is so wrong. Anyway, basically, yeah, I'd make like a 25% return, and I, I'd end up making like $300,000 a year, a little less. But the government's going to screw you a bit there. Um, but overall, like, that's the goal, is to just build up money, build up money, build up money, and then continue to grow that over and over and over. Like... I started eight years ago with five grand, right? Understand that eight years ago, five grand I'm up to like $279,000. When you look at how much money I've made in eight years, it's not much at all, right? Like think about that five, that well, what would that be? 279 divided by eight. I've made an average. This is something I want you to understand this. I have made an average of 34 grand a year. You can go work at 7-Eleven and, and fucking make 34 grand a year probably. But what you have to understand is year one, I made nothing. Year two, I made nothing. Year three, I lost money too and I made nothing. Year four, I remember I made like 40 grand consistently. Not 40 grand in a couple of months. Like every month I was pulling consistent profits. And that's what you guys need to look for is consistent. And then like last year I made like $175,000 or 100, no, like 110. And the year before it was like 100. So it's like most, and I am paying taxes. So like untaxed, I'd probably would have about four hundred fifty five hundred thousand dollars $500,000. But the government fucking screws you with taxes. Like you have to understand that fucking hate the government um but yeah so like i would probably have about five hundred thousand dollars after taxes but that's something you need to understand like the fucking equity curve now is like through the roof like this year i will probably make two hundred thousand dollars just trading you know what i mean and the next year i'll probably make five hundred thousand dollars trading so that's the thing you're looking at the long term here i don't think i want any of you to look short term which is why most of these traders do look short term. You shouldn't. You need to look at what's going to happen in the next 10, 20, 30 years. It's very important, especially as a trader. Uh, how much do you need to make 100 bucks a day? Mr. Retired, consistently to make $100 a day, you need 10,000 uh, bucks a day. Uh, that's, uh. I would say 20 grand, you can very easily and consist. Like I'm saying, easy, like not even work for it. You can easily just sell cash care puts and make like, 500 bucks a week, 600 bucks a week, very, very easily. Like very easily. And selling cash gear puts is the way to go. I'll explain that in another video. Just trying to get to 20K. Man, start a, start a business, dude. Start a business. 
Like I'll, if you guys want to learn business building, I can teach you that as well. Start a business uh, or just get a fucking high paying job. Here's what you need to do. This, all right, this <laughs> I'm still recording uh, and I'm probably going to put this up as a separate video, but whatever. Uh, here's, here's my last piece of advice for anyone who wants to make money right? is for anyone who wants to make money. You have three, you have two routes, two or three routes. Number one, you become a trader. Okay, probably the hardest fucking route possible, but you live life on your own terms. You have no responsibilities at all except for to yourself and the government screws you with taxes. It's very hard to like not evade your taxes, but it's very hard to like use the tax law in your advantage when you're a trader. Okay, that's number one. Number two is you start a business. There's so many businesses. I literally had a list of 50 businesses I was going to start or have somebody start for me. Like you can start a landscaping business, a mobile detailing business, a debt settlement services company. So I was going to start a company where let's say you have $50,000 in car loan debt and they're going to come take the car from you. It's all public record. I can call the bank, negotiate for you, tell them you're only going to give them $30,000, but we can close tomorrow. Then you pay me a bit of the spread of the money they were saving. So debt settlement services company, don't judge me for this. There is a huge market and you got like I like a huge market for any of you. One of you guys needs to do this to become an OnlyFans consultant, right? I know this is ridiculous. I'm probably gonna, I'm definitely getting demonetized now. But like you could make a killing becoming an OnlyFans consultant because OnlyFans is massive. More and more women are doing it, and I feel like a lot of them don't look at it from a business standpoint. And there's so many ways. Like I could easily take a girl who's making thirty grand a month up to like a hundred grand a month, like easily. Um, that's a business you can, there's so many freaking businesses that you can start out there that like, there's not that much competition and you can easily start making a hundred grand a year. That's an option, right? And then option number three would be, and this is what most of you could and should probably do, get a freaking professional resume, right? Get some good references and go apply to a hundred jobs that are paying hundred thousand dollars two hundred thousand dollars whatever you think you don't deserve to make go apply to a hundred of those jobs just go apply of a hundred maybe ten of them will reach out to you and you'll get an interview with ten of those and even if you don't get a job which i bet you probably will right even if you don't get the job you will sit down with ten very important people and you will be able to get an interview with some of the top companies in the world and you will learn from that. So that's what you do. Like, I mean, I, I've never worked a normal job in my life and I'm a convicted felon over 14 grams of marijuana. I never graduated high school. I never graduated college. And this year I'm going to make 400 grand in, in well, pre-tax, but 400 grand pre-tax. Like if I can fucking do it, Trust me, you guys can do it. And I had an interview with a legal uh, lending company like two years ago before I started this. But I applied for the job. They offered me the job. It was 150 grand a year. <laughs> you damn felon, JK, bro. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, so like that, they offered me the job and like I just... I just applied. I did lie and say I had a master's degree, whatever, but I got offered the job once I told them I didn't, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, at the end of the day, guys, like that's, that's the most important thing. Like those, those are the three ways you need to do that. You know what I mean? Like it's starting a job or start trying to get a job you think you can't get. And then learning, working for someone for free. That's a big one too. Uh, starting your own company or business or becoming a trader. Nothing's easy. It's not going to be given to you. Go out and get it. Uh, but I mean, think of it long term and just grow like your last thing I'll leave you with because we've been doing this for like an hour and 15 minutes and I go sideways freaking heavily. But the last thing I want to talk about is like. Just grow as a human, right? Like I said this before, um, when we are talking about the the trading, the, the things to do to become a profitable trader, right? Think of profit last and think of systems first. If you build a strong system, you will make profits. And it's the same thing as a human. If you build strong character, if you learn as much as you possibly can, and if you become a better human being, you will make more money. It's as simple as that. All right, guys. 
I gotta go. Hit the like button, subscribe, check out the Discord. If you want to get access to all the trades, go to the premium section. I went a little, a little freaking wild today. Uh, cursed a little too much, talked about some stupid shit. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good day. Uh, let me know if you need anything. Tag me in the chat. And uh, yeah, guys, enjoy your day. Peace.